Oh yeah! <laughs> well there it is, my very first Tasmanian King George Whiting. I'm wrapped. Now for all you Victorians watching this, that's a 43 centimetre King George Whiting and I'm putting it back. Yep, you can afford to let go 43 centimetre feet. What happened with that? Oh. King George! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Don't lose him! These things are so strong and hard to handle. Well, you put us on the spot. There you go. Oh, I'm running out of measure. <laughs> wow, that's a good body. How good are these Tasmanian whiting? Seriously, it's an amazing fishery. <laughs> it is, and there's some great memories there from the first time that Joe and I targeted Tasmania's remarkable King George Whiting during the summer of 22-23. We had a blast on that trip, and you can revisit the videos that I made at the time using the links above and in the description and comments below. We caught some thumpers, culminating in my mate Rory's 55 centimetre kidney slapper off Montague on the island state's northwest corner. But we knew there were bigger ones down there, a lot bigger. I'm a keen follower and contributor to the Tasmanian King George Whiting group on Facebook, and some of the whiting that pop up on there at times are next level. They include a scattering of fish well over 60 centimetres in length, and it's one of those I've got my heart set on scoring. I want a 60. We headed back to Tassie this past summer, and we figured we might as well go straight to where Rory scored his 55, back to Montague. We love this wild and remote corner of the Apple Isle. Its clear turquoise waters are home to a healthy population of big King George Whiting. And despite being a bit limited by the weather this trip, we soon got amongst them, and they included some thumpers. Nice. <laughs> Woo. Thank you. Oh, well, he's not the giant I was looking for, but he's a damn nice King George Whiting in anyone's book. That's certainly going to go in the 50s. Well, I'm going to say 54. That fish actually measured 53.5 and it anchored an amazing bag of five keepers with the smallest one being 46. <laughs> wow. But I didn't find my elusive 60, so it was off to Port Sorel, east of Devonport, another favourite spot of ours. And the whiting here were of such high quality that we immediately set a voluntary minimum length for our boat. He is 44. <laughs> it's not a bad fishery when you can let go 44 centimetre King George White. But there were bigger fish out there. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, they've got a distinctive bite. This is a big one. Oh, I do love them. <laughs> What's not to love? Oh yes, I think he'll be coming aboard and staying aboard. Pass me the net, love. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I think it might be a 50. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at you. Huh. We are eating oh. whitey tuna. <laughs> look at the size of that. Oh, I'm going to say about 52 or 53 or something like that. Wow. Oh, they're so hard to get hold of. They are the most 
muscular fish. So slippery too. Yeah. The number that I threw over the side accidentally when I was learning to remember that trick. Yeah. I don't think there's any doubt that he's going to make out. Five centimetre boat limit. Yeah. Do you want to measure him down on the ground yeah, so I think that we so. don't? <laughs> well, there you go. I'll measure it in a minute. I know from experience that the bite window on these big bruises is often really short. I was keen to cut another fresh squid bait and get it back in the water. On this trip, we experimented with rigging our squid baits more like soft plastics. And we also used my son Tom's 3D printed worm burner attractors. <laughs> they worked too. Okay, get it back out there onto that transition from reef to sand and hang on. Oh, that was, that was a biting, I reckon. Come back. Oh, that's where I'm getting bites now. I don't know if they're... But that last one came from just on the edge here. Mm. Yeah. Oh my! No, it's a, I should be alright. Oh my! This is another ripper. Check out how hard they fight. I'm running 10 pound braid, a 12 pound leader, and heaps of drag. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing these things. Oh, oh I might have upped my... Oh! It's certainly fatter. Oh, I don't think it's longer. No, it's not longer. It's a keeper. Swallowed the hook too. Slippery buggers. I cannot hold them for the camera. Okay, the moment of truth. Time to measure this pair of bruises. Wow, 55 and 51. A new PB! Well, there you go. 55 centimetres. <laughs> Still a fair way to go to the 60, but we've equaled our best mark from the last trip. I'm coming back for my 60. By now the tide had slackened and the bite had died off, so we pulled stumps and headed for the boat ramp to fill it our day's keepers. The King George Whiting fishery here at Port Sorrel and right across the north of Tasmania these days is nothing short of phenomenal. And if it's looked after and valued, it should only get better and better. That's a good news story in my book. One thing's for sure, Joe and I will be back. Until next time, this is Starlow wishing you tight lines.